Okay, so this is day two of the whole converting the truck into a camper project. And uh, right here is the first wall that I have made. Uh, today I'm going to work on getting the second part of this. So there it is. Gives you an idea. And it's got a two inch slope on it. I think this side over here is two inches higher than this side over here. And then you can see some pieces cut for this second bit of the wall. And those are going to be, uh, this, this big opening here, because I got to cut these today, where that is, there's going to be a window on this wall. And those are going to be the two main side walls that are going, going to go on either side of the bed of the truck there, over the wheel wells. And uh, more of that later. But these are the boards that I have so far. This is uh, that's from what I cut yesterday. Uh, and they're one by twos. <coughs> you can see how they go here. And I just, I use screws, but uh, don't know. That was the best. It's got some splitting in some areas. Nothing too bad. And then just some wood glue holding them together. And then there will be a half inch uh, foam that will go in between each board for insulation. And then on the outside I'll wrap those with some probably quarter inch plywood. So uh, these won't be load bearing walls. They're just going to form the shell for the camper. But they'll be sturdy enough, I think. And besides that, that's all I got for day two. I just got to get that wall started right there. Cut some more wood. There's a saw. There's a drill. Sander. Here's some other tools I got to help with the project. Got some liquid nails for when I start putting more things together. Besides wood to wood, like wood to metal and things like that. Here's a grinder because I'm actually going to be cutting into the truck to mod it so that it'll fit. There's a little cock gun, voltmeter for when I get to doing my electrical. The whole thing should have running water and power. It's going to be completely solar powered for now. That's the plan. Got a file, got some cutters for the grinder. I have needing some uh, vice grips, so I just got those. Some sand or sandpaper, more glue. These are going to be the bolts. Hold the wood and drill some holes into the wood and put on the truck. So it'll be clamped to this rail right here on the truck. And there's a truck. That's basically going to be the, the main space. What I'll actually do to make it a full on camper, full on RV, is cut into all of this right here, cut into the bed, and from here into the cab. Well, actually, just there won't be a wall there anymore. So you'll just be able to get out of the cab into the bed, and there'll actually be a loft up here. And it's actually going to extend about three feet above the truck. So you can see there's the truck. And to help with the new weight, I'm going to get some uh, helper bars to go on these. That'll be a, one of the heavier hits to the wallet as far as this whole project. The wood so far is cheap. The tools I needed to get were pretty cheap. I had most of it already. And then it'll extend eight inches out from here, about like that, and then up. And then it'll just be one big camper shell on the whole thing. But and I got it all modeled up in my end stuff. Look at that, here's my saw horses, little work area right there and thing bag in the way and all right so uh that's day two i'll update uh, as soon as i get some more progress talk to you guys later